So we're going camping today and need to get this axe ready. Need to get the uh, dirt cleaned off of it. I'm gonna make a sheath for it and then I'm gonna sharpen it. That way we have a good sharp axe out there and I'm not cutting my bag. That's why I'm gonna make the sheath for it. Alrighty, so let's get this started. Okay, to get this started, I'm gonna take a piece of duct tape. I'm gonna use the back of it. I'm gonna go over the edge. That way it doesn't stick to it. And we'll take a piece like that. Put it over the edge. Try to center it up probably the best you can. You don't want to go too far down here because it curves out. So if you uh, wrap it down here, You'll end up cutting it because you won't be able to pull it past that. Need just a little bit more tape. Alright, then we'll run a piece over the back of it. Short again. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Now each of these pieces I'm trying to get started on the edge. That way it builds it up. That way, if it does cut it, it has to cut through a lot more. All right, I think I'll extend this a little bit more. That way it covers up that edge a little bit. But I think for the most part, I probably, I'll probably come back here with some. Around the back. But, I mean, that's pretty much what you want. You just want it to snugly fit, but you don't want it to, like, not come off.
Okay, so I've got the base layer on that was backwards, and then I put a uh, second layer on, like normal. Uh, all of my pieces that are on here overlap the edge, so I have a nice thick edge. And then it goes around the back. I wanted to make sure that it covered both of those for wear, get some life out of it. It is a little snug, but I think it's because there's little pieces overlapping and keep touching it, but those will get dirty over time and stop. It is a little... At least I wanted to worry about it coming off. But, now we got to get it sharpened. Alright, now it's time to sharpen the axe. I have a, a bastard filed here. It's a flat, flat bastard. Uh, this will be good for uh, removing enough metal for this. I mean, it's not super aggressive, but it's it'll be good enough to get this job done quickly. Uh, I have the axe and a vise to hold it still. I mean, it's not bolted to the table, but the vise weighs enough. So, I mean, I mean you're not going to be really, really getting after it. So, when you're sharpening an axe, you want to make sure you get a good angle. The less of an angle you have, the uh, longer the blade will last, but the duller overall it'll be. The steeper your taper is, the sharper it'll be, but the more, the faster it'll go uh, dull, and you'll get like chips and holes and stuff in it, and you don't really want that for an axe. Uh, so you kind of want a middle of the road, that way it can cut into the wood, but by cutting into the wood you're not bending over your edge or breaking little pieces off, or if you hit like a stone or something, it won't totally ruin your blade. When you're trying to figure out your angle for your blade that you want, just run your file down the edge of it, and it'll shine up, and if it's not deep enough, like I did this one a little bit here, down to the bevel that exists already. But this right here, I only did the tip of it. So you'll be able to see where you're at and how it's going. Alright, let's get this thing sharp. Okay, and here you can see it had a bevel on it down low. And then all this rust up here, I haven't even got to it yet because this bevel is sticking out so far that the uh, I run it along the tip and this bevel down here and the middle of it is not being touched yet. So I have to work down this edge and then it'll get up to the top and then it'll be uniform. Wow, that took longer than I was expecting. Somebody apparently uh, took a grinder to it and just eyeballed it. Because, I mean, there was that bevel down here that didn't reach up here. The uh, line isn't straight. It's a little offset. Yeah, I mean, the, the top here 
was thicker and more offset than the bottom down here. I mean, it's definitely a lot sharper than it was, but it's not as sharp as it could be. But that's as sharp as I'm getting it today. Maybe I'll come back and hit it up some other time. 